what is, I think, problematic for you is the war room, which was a, a group Miscategorized of, and misunderstood. It was called the war room. Correct. Okay. And it had a lot of people who were dubbed the generals who ran the war room Correct. for you. And the war room had five to 600 members who paid, I think, 6,000 plus dollars to be a member of this. And when you saw the, the logs of the web chats between people from the war room to each other, a lot of it made disturbing reading. Were you disturbed by it when you read that? Firstly, a lot of that is bullshit. A lot of that's fake. Secondly... Well, you think that literally those logs are fake? Absolutely. Secondly... But the BBC verified them. The BBC verified them. Are they the same people who verified the vaccine? Those people, they're liars, firstly. A lot of them are fake. Secondly, the well, world... Were you disturbed by anything you read? No, because none of it's real, firstly. Secondly, there's 4,000 members in the war room. Thirdly, the war room is about masculine personal development. We talk about fitness, making money, strength. We talk about very important things. I, there's 4,000 members inside. If you're telling me that amongst 4,000 members with 24-hour chat seven days a week for the last five years, they've managed to find two guys talking locker room talk, and that somehow offends the world, then nobody understands how the world works. That's not why I was in jail. It's nothing to do with the war room. I was in jail because I spoke against power, because I told the truth about COVID, because I told the truth about the war in Ukraine, because I told the truth about all of these things. I don't understand why people would want to put you in jail for giving your opinions about COVID or Ukraine. Because why would they? Why wouldn't they? Well, but, why would they? Why, because would they, say, not, why because, would they say that Andrew Tate's opinion is so important on Ukraine that we have to put him in jail? Because, I, don't, I don't buy that. Okay, because I was the most Googled man on the planet, and I had a huge affinity with the most troublesome demographic for the matrix, which is the young masculine youth, the people who you need to die in wars, the people who you need to psyop into being slaves to build the roads while telling them that they're not allowed a point of view and they're not allowed an opinion on anything. And I was saying things which was going against the narrative. And the matrix, the way it operates is it uses the MSM to purport lies, to inject slave programming into people's brains so that we live lives which are not good for us but are good for them. And I was sitting there unplugging it. Why would they sit there and say, we've put together this massive psyop. We're going to convince everybody to inject themselves with poison and we're going to lock everyone in their houses and it's all a lie and we're going to let this one well, guy who everyone a, listens Andrew, to. Andrew, it wasn't all a lie. Yes, it was. It wasn't. There was, a new, there was a new novel coronavirus. <laughs> Okay, I'll tell you what. I'll tell you. I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what the facts were, and you can then laugh at them if you wish. Sure. But there was a novel coronavirus, yeah. COVID nineteen. It was killing thousands of people a day. Really? Yes, That's absolutely. Scary. Yeah, and as a, and I know people who died. Who I know doesn't? I know people who died before Corona. Of Fine, I'm sure people died of lots of things, but it was killing exponentially thousands and thousands of people. And then vaccines were developed at very high speed and they managed to save, in my estimation, millions of lives. You may not agree with that, Absolutely. but those are facts as assumed by the body of scientific and medical experts in the, the world. The body of scientific and medical mm. experts, you mean the matrix. I could get- What is the matrix? The matrix are a bunch of people who can come up with studies from the sky to say anything they want them to say so they can use the MSM to purport garbage inside of people's minds. Mm. So you end up locked in your house, clapping for the NHS like a performing seal, injecting yourself with experimental poison for the ninth mm. time. It's a lie. There was no reason to lock everyone in their house. More people died from missed cancer appointments than anyone ever died of COVID. People always got the sniffles before COVID and they've always got it since. It wasn't Let me ask you a question. Hang on, sir. it wasn't. Where is COVID gone? It wasn't. Diseases don't go away. It wasn't. Where's COVID gone? It wasn't. Well, the COVID strains have got milder, as indeed flu did. Flu oh, used to so kill. So it's gone away. Well, flu pandemic in about 100 years ago killed 50 to 100 million people. And it's got steadily milder over the decades since. This is normal medical science. Uh, pathway for most pandemics, right? So on that, I mean, your sort of cast iron, it was all matrix MSM nonsense is palpably untrue. Well, I'll tell you why that's not untrue. Let me tell you my personal experience with COVID. I'm an extremely logical person. At the beginning, when everyone was dying, dropping dead in the streets in China, which I never saw, by the way, funny. And the Italian hospitals were full. English hospitals were never full, funny. Me and my brother sat there and said, if this disease is so deadly and can damage us as strong military age males, then the world is over. So there's no point in hiding in our house. 